Hi, I'm Tony LeCantro and I'm at the RIU Explorers Conference here in Fremantle. I'm joined today by Mr. Rob Bills, who's the CEO of Emerson Resources. G'day Rob. G'day Tony, how are you? Yeah, good. Not a bad conference, is it? It's been a good conference, a very good conference. We've um, you know, announced some good results, so, um, so it's been positive for us in terms of share price, which is great. I actually noticed that the vibe this year is much better than the last. For some I think moment. I think uh, gold's on the move, you know, and, yeah. and Emerson being a gold company, um, you know, that's had a big impact on us as well. Yeah, last I looked, gold was about eight eight hundred and seventy dollars. Yes. So, what's going to be the benefit for your shareholders? Look, I think it's really more around, you know, just the sentiment more than anything. Um, we, as as I was just talking to you before, we've produced our first sort of gold bar, so we're into commercial production, and when I say we, our, it's our joint venture partner, we just take a royalty from that. So, you know, uh, those royalty checks will start flowing into Emerson, and I think that's, you know, that's obviously positive with the gold price going up. I guess so, so that helps you be self-funded? Correct. The model is, uh, you know, to de-risk, to, to self-fund, so that we don't have to go to the capital markets all the time, we don't have to dilute shareholders, that's obviously a good thing. Also, it's more than that, you know, when you mine, particularly up in Tennant Creek, it allows you to understand the geology better underground, understand the grade distribution, you know, understand what controls it. So we plan to you know, put out drill drives and do, do a fair bit of drilling underground. And hopefully, you know, from some of these smaller resources, we, they turn into bigger resources as we go under. Okay, so with the funds, uh, yeah. you're out hunting for the next elephant? We are. So there's two, two, two main projects we've got. So we've got the Tennant Creek project, which we own 100% of. We've got a joint venture there with Territory. They um, you know, started mining. Uh, we get a royalty, but we've also got 100% exploration ground. And we've just made a big discovery there, or very uh, high grade discovery mm. there called Mauritania. So that's Tennant Creek. We'll continue to do that. The next sort of elephant country type project that we'll be drilling is over New South Wales. Mm -hmm. So we've used some proprietary targeting methodology to try and identify where we think the next big discovery is going to be in New South Wales, you know, and picked up the ground there about three years ago. Big ground packages, five projects, uh, and uh, the, the, the target there is, your, you know, your Acadia Ridgeway, North Parks, cowl type deposits, mm -hmm. which, you know, potentially game changer for, for a company like Emerson. Yeah, no, it's actually a potential life destroyer, as I like to call it, because <laughs> once your shareholders make too much money, they um, get some nasty habits. But yeah, that, that's the best thing you can do for your shareholders, yeah. is give them a solid base, then yes. give them some upside and uh, look forward to it. That's right, yeah. So as I said, drilling there in March. So um, we're looking forward to it. You know, we've, we, it's, a, it's a really interesting story because we've, um, we've come into New South Wales probably three years ago and picked up that ground position. One of the first projects we went to was this project called uh, Watling Hill. Um, and our geologist uh, knocked on the door of the farm and the farmer said, oh look, jump in the car and come up and I'll show you some interesting rocks. And he said, this is the first time an exploration company's been onto my property. So I think that sort of underscores the fact that, you know, you can kind of think New South Wales is well explored, but actually it, no. it's not. And when she went up on the hill where these rocks were, it was, um, you know, magnetite quartz stockwork veins, as you'd expect around a porphyry copper deposit, running 2% gold and 0.25 grams a ton, uh, uh, sorry, 2% copper and 0.25 gold. So um, exactly the sort of things you want to see. All right, no, sounds good, all the best. Thank you very much, Tony. All right.